Hey guys, I'm Cody, Hitter by Past Life Pro, and for this shader tutorial, I'd like to show you how to change light source brightness in the latest public CUDA shader, this one being the CUDA V6.1.13 Beta Ultra. Alright, let's get started. First, have the CUDA shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. As opposed to the previous SUS version of this tutorial, this version of the CUDA does not seem to have parameters built specifically for certain blocks, such as glowstone, lava, or torches individually. The light I'll be teaching you how to adjust will span to all things that emit light, even handheld light, which as it sounds, is light you hold in your hand. For adjusting the light source brightness of basically everything at once, line 327 is your go-to code piece. Larger numbers equal a brighter result, and smaller numbers equal a darker result. To make it easier for you to pick something that you may like, I've made this comparison to help you out. As it stands, I've pretty much covered the gist of what this tutorial is after. Although, if you were to look at the lines below 327, these parameters are used to get more specific into what you may want out of your light sources in terms of brightness. Just listen. Line 327's parameter is designed to affect light during the day and during the night, probably even during rain, for everything. For adjusting the brightness of individual times of day or night for everything except handheld light, you'd be expected to turn to lines 337, 338, and 343. Though I won't be spending much time on these separately, know this. Line 337 is your typical light adjustment for the outside, which means this adjustment won't work when you're indoors or, more specifically, underground. For those types of locations, Line 338 is where you will turn. When it comes to specifically night, line 343 is what you will use. For adjusting the handheld light, line 354 is your go-to. The rightmost 2.0 is what you will be using for all times of the day and during the night. For all these lines, the same idea holds up. Larger numbers increase the brightness, whereas smaller numbers decrease it. And of course, don't forget to save when you're done. All versions of the CUDA shader will in time change, so if you have any questions, in the future or in the now, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. For all those cinematic artists out there, if you would like to have your cinematic showcased on this channel, then send your cinematic to me via my Twitter, at cman5015, or my Facebook, which is simply Past Life Pro. Links to those sites are in the description. If this cute shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.